welcome to my views and news a look at headlines new stories mainly from ethiopia firstly uh, prime minister of ethiopia we am uh, today contacted uh, sudanese of warring factions the commanders al buran and hamati uh, the prime minister discussed the situation in sudan with them what happened Uh, what was the agenda of the talks uh, why is ethiopia concerned and secondly south omo zone snnpr were in a tribal uh, conflict around 10 people have been killed and uh, several injured and thirdly words uh, a new story from tigray we have seen two delegations visit tigray in the last 3 to 4 days I think yesterday all regional presidents were in Makale and two days before that a delegation from Oromia visited uh, Tigray Oromia uh, tribal Oromian tradition elder traditional elders and uh, an archbishop from Oromia uh, were part of the delegation a catholic priest in tigray confronted both the delegation he asked some questions some hard uh, questions difficult questions uh, did he receive any answers and uh, was it uh, appropriate on the part of this uh, priest to ask such a question because obviously tigray was hosting the guests from outside and on two occasions it means he was allowed to ask the tough questions uh, details we firstly viewers uh, prime minister of ethiopia abiy ahmed has contacted uh, sudanese of warring uh, faction commanders uh, he talked to hamdan dagalo and he talked to uh, al burhan sudanese uh, army chief this is uh, pm abi second phone call to sudanese leaders i think first happened around 24 hours after the start of the conflict and pm abi has released three messages so far in arabic calling for calm what is the agenda what was the agenda of pm abi's uh, call with burhan and hamati ethiopia is concerned ethiopia is starting to to feel the impact of this uh, this this conflict in sudan and one of the most serious issues for ethiopia is growing egyptian influence in sudan if this war goes on and egypt is practically involved in this conflict in the form of uh, egyptian boots on the ground it would be uh, a matter of concern for ethiopian government egyptian planes reportedly already involved supporting sudanese military secondly we're going to see an influx of refugees from sudan into ethiopia Sudan was hosting uh, Ethiopian refugees so tens of thousands of Ethiopian refugees entered Sudan after the start of war in Ethiopia in November 2020 and tens of thousands are still there and thousands of other Ethiopians uh, are there too in Sudan now we could see these Ethiopians Ethiopian refugees return to Ethiopia from Sudan and we could see Sudanese as well foreign nationals uh, trying to enter Ethiopia and people are trying to enter by the way in Al Gadarif Ethiopian consulate is issuing permits visas to people long queues of people can be seen there foreign nationals are being evacuated uh, through Matimma but they are foreign nationals they leave uh, Ethiopia those sudanese who are not in opposition to go to another country obviously they'll try to enter ethiopia especially if the war spreads to eastern sudan 
So far, there is no fighting uh, on Ethiopia-Sudan border. No fighting in Al Ghadar if between RSF and Sudanese armed forces. But if this war goes on, we will see its impact on Ethiopia. The war could spread towards Ethiopian border too. And uh, Ethiopia wants to send a message to Hamati and Burhan that it is not a party to this conflict. Because the main concern for Ethiopia in coming days would be filling of the dam, GERD. With the start of rainy season, Ethiopia will fill the dam for the fourth time. And Egypt has been opposing these fillings. We have seen the last three years that whenever Ethiopia started filling the dam, Egypt tried to up the ante against Ethiopia. Now, Egypt, if it is militarily involved in Sudan, it will try to put more pressure upon Ethiopia. So, Ethiopia wants to be a relevant player in Sudanese politics. That is why it is contacting both parties. It is not taking any side so far. We have not seen any uh, visible evidence of Ethiopian government backing Hamati. Hamati is close to the Prime Minister, Liam Abi, reportedly. So far, Ethiopia wants to tell the two sides that it is not party. It wants peace uh, as war is causing an entire catastrophe not only in Sudan, but it will spread to other countries too. Secondly, there was a conflict in uh, SNNPR is being reported in which uh, more than 10 people were killed yesterday. It happened in South Omo zone. I think it is in SNNPR, Southern Nations, Nationalism and People region. And there is uh, Salamago district in SNNPR. In Salamago district is Hana town. Clashes erupted yesterday there between uh, two tribes. Uh, Bodhi and uh, Dami tribes. Bodhi and Demi, a tribe, uh, uh, people fought. Ten were killed and six were injured who were taken to a hospital there. Clashes spread to Hana town. What happened is that one and one of the kill is uh, district administrative uh, official too. The fighting started after a district government official was visiting an area. He was shot at by unknown people. And then the two tribes uh, started fighting. Lastly, in the past three to four days, two delegations visited Tegarai. We saw Oromo traditional elders and uh, Archbishop Gunis uh, Saviros from Orthodox Church visit uh, Tegarai. Then yesterday, Regional presidents, all regional presidents visited Makale. There, a Catholic uh, priest confronted the two delegations. He asked some tough questions. Did he try to embarrass the guests, the visitors? Uh, who was behind the Catholic uh, priest? His name is Toim Berhe from Catholic Church. When uh, three days ago, Romo delegation visited uh, Makale, he said, where were you when uh, catastrophe befell us? When we were in trouble, where were you? And uh, then yesterday, we saw that uh, all regional presidents were there. Gatacho warmly welcomed them. We saw Gatacho and Yelkel Kifale hugging. There again, he asked questions. He said, uh, Why aren't you speaking about Irati? He was asking these questions while regional leadership was there. He said, uh, We were expecting that you would have courage to condemn, to speak about Irati. Our land is still. Uh, under the occupation of Eritrean forces. Our people are being killed. But no one is talking about uh, Eritrea. He said, we want peace. Uh, uh, but we want people to talk about our problems too. 
when he confronted Romo delegation, he said that uh, accountability and justice are must for peace, for lasting peace. While questions about uh, accountability, transitional justice, role of outside forces uh, are very pertinent questions, but uh, the questions must be asked at the right time. Uh, the visitors must not be embarrassed. They were in Tigray uh, to show solidarity with Tigray. They announced some aid for Tigray. Uh, and uh, if, if Tigray does not want to welcome these guests, the Tigray government should have rejected uh, their program to visit uh, the region. If they are being allowed to enter Tigray, then hospitality uh, requires they should be treated in a way that they're not they don't feel embarrassed i think